coming. Uh, great student. Uh, I love the riot squad. I love their student section today. You know, getting better and better and helping us. Um, obviously, played team pick to win their league and NCAA tournament team last year. <coughs> dangerous, obviously, from the shooting percentages from three. Um, I thought we figured out a way to win a game. I got to give a tip, Corey. He's been sick all day, and uh, you know, D has been dealing with some stuff. So we got through a very difficult, you know, cut past couple days, um, and uh, we were able to tough out a win. So I'm real pleased with the win. And as you guys know, we're on to the next one. Hey, what did you think of the physicality that you brought, and then how you, you responded to it? You know, I, I mean, you know, at first, what, what I was most concerned was we weren't staying in front of the ball. Uh, they were very physical, but their shooting ability to shoot from multiple positions is what scared me watching all the tapes. And I knew they were much better than their record, especially with the addition of Pots. Um, they're going to be very good uh, in their conference, as you know. They're picked to win it. So, and, and Greg is a really good coach. Much respect for them. So, um, you know, I thought, you know, we stepped it up during that stretch in the second half and just kind of <coughs> physically, too, rebounded, got the ball where we wanted to. I love 16 assists, eight turnovers, out rebounded them. Uh, as, as our game plan. And then we made some shots in the second half. I thought we got great threes in the first half, didn't make any. We made some in the second half, separated the game. Steve, I know you don't care much about starters, but making the flip between Nigel and Jonathan for this game, what went into that? Yeah, I just wanted to see, and I thought John was good coming off the bench. So I wanted to flip it a little bit and uh, have another ball handler. Also knowing, you know, Corey was a little bit under <coughs> the weather, you know, so I thought, you know, I look at our guys, Mike's a starter, Candido's a starter, like, you know, that stuff never, like, factors in. Just thought with Corey being a little under the weather and maybe John try having him come off the bench and give us a little bit of a spark. And, um, you know, Nigel gave us good minutes, a lot of faith in John, too. Uh, there'll be games for him, and the matchups I thought were favorable for, for Nigel. John, John's seen his role kind of, not his role, his performance has kind of slipped down since he had 18 points against Drexel. Six minutes, I think, against Stony Brook, ten tonight. Is, has there been something that he has to kind of improve on? To it feels like there's. Yeah, but you know, you guys, this isn't little league baseball. Everyone doesn't get up to the plate, you know. So I play the best, I'm fair to the rest. And yeah. so right now, I mean, Mike's been playing great. I mean, Issa's when he shoots the ball brings us a weapon. Uh, you know, playing Corey minutes, playing a lot of guys. So you, you know, and, and John will have his turn again. <coughs> you see Shaq's coming on too. I got to figure out a way to get him some more minutes. So minutes are always, a, you know, always an issue. I do a lot, a lot by practice. Practice is important to me. You, you know, and so uh, you hope it sparks a little bit in guys to practice harder and be more prepared. You can see today, Candido was gr really good. You know, so uh, I think our team is coming, and we got a lot of weapons, and I trust them all. So I'll, I, you know, I'll play. I'll play anybody on the roster, and I think that's how I coach. I want my guys ready when they're called on. Steve, foul shooting a little concern, or is just chalk it up to one of those things? Well, I mean, it's, uh, shooting in general is a concern. So uh, you can chalk that up to shooting, and uh, foul shooting is, is part of that. Um, you know, we rebounded today. We won the game. We were a little more physical and made some threes. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're figuring out ways to win games, and I'm proud of these guys for that figuring out ways. Each team we've played has presented a different, different challenge. And we've been able to respond and, and take care of the game. Um, Greg was obviously pretty complimentary. I guess you guys go pretty far back in the coaching circles. Some of the things just about, you know, New Jersey teams being good. Have you gotten that sense at all yourself being here in New Jersey this year, you know, that kind of in some ways the state is enjoying some of the you teams mean being it's, pretty good? You know, people have been great. You know, since I took the job, I mean, the high school coaches have been awesome. The AU coaches have been good. Um, I think they see we're playing a good brand of basketball. I think guys have improved uh, in a lot of ways. And, uh, and Greg's one of the great, you know, just a good guy. He's been around basketball for a lot of time. He's watched a lot of film on us, so I appreciate his, you know, opinions. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, the state, is, you know, the state has been great. Rutgers has 